Here's uh, yet another version of a spot welder. I'm sure there's lots of them on YouTube, but this is my version. This is the uh, transformer from the uh, microwave oven. You can see there's the primary and there's the secondary, and it's uh, about this wire, about the size of my pinky. It's probably triple zero cable, a multi strand. You can see the strands peeking out there. And I had a bunch of copper bars, so I just put them all together. And the whole idea is that you get, instead of 2,000 volts on the transformer, you take that apart. You have to cut it apart. And you can see that I had cut it apart using a hacksaw blade. Once you got uh, one weld on the one side done, you weaken the weld on the other, and then you can actually open up the lamita laminations to, to weaken it and then take it apart, get rid of the secondary. What I then did was to clamp it back together and just kind of very surface weld the laminations together one side and then you can wound the, wind the, the heavy wire around the, the core and I put these wooden wedges in to just keep everything tight. The other thing that I did was to get these fender washers and bend these little tabs or ears on them so that they actually clamp the wire to to the bar. And these are uh, uh, 5 16 bolts that go right through. Had an offset, uh, just a piece of round stock, it's about an inch and a quarter to uh, give the uh, clamping action. And the whole idea is you have very, very low voltage but very high current. I think I get over a thousand amps now, and it's about 0.6 or 0.7 of a volt. When it's working on open circuit, I get about two volts, but when it's when the current is flowing, you get about a thousand amps. And then for controlling it, it's just a simple household switch because on the primary you take about 10 or 12 amps, and that's more than adequately done by this uh, switch, just a household switch with a spring-loaded return and I just made a little extension on the switch so you just hold it open or you hold it on rather for one or two seconds and I'll show this a little bit later operating and, you can, and the spring just returns it real quick so quick that it actually popped off there. Let's try that again. On, off, on, off. So if you let it go, it just returns to normal. So everything turns off. And for the electrodes, I had a chunk of brass and just had the machine down to little points that are about maybe three sixteenths or an eighth of an inch across. And that's uh, where all the current gets concentrated so that the resistance through all of this is very low compared to the piece of steel and so the piece of steel gets red hot because of resistance it's not an arc welding it's not like arc welding at all it's just resistance welding so there you have it and I'll, next uh, sequence I'll show the thing in operation so here I've got the spot welder set up ready to go plugged in and you'll see the uh, this is uh, 22 gauge steel uh, just a ordinary piece of 22 gauge steel which is pretty hefty stuff anyway so I just uh, reach over and operate the switch and you'll see the thing turn red. Let it cool down for a bit. And then release the clamp. Let's see, I can do that. I'll probably, this will probably fall to the floor. There, and you can see the weld. And you can see the 
oxidation colors. If you're familiar with heat treating, you can see the yellow, straw, and blue, and so on. And there's actually both sides, and it works quite well. Now, if I could figure out a way to do this with three, just two hands. Let's clamp her down again. This time, I'm going to measure the uh, current. So here I've set up uh, a clamp on an meter. I've got it set to the. Uh, I guess you can't read it. It's maybe a little blurry. It's a thousand amps, full scale. And what you'll see is that when I hit the switch, the thing turns red. And that little needle on the ammeter goes right to way over a thousand amps. You'll see it swinging very quickly. So I get way over a thousand amps. I estimate it's probably something close to, I don't know, 1500 amps or something uh, on this on this version. And. In fact, this is all still very cool. There's no, there's not much heat. There's just a little, actually it's not warm at all. So there's my version of, well, let me get rid of this clamp on ammeter. And you can see the, let me release it. There you can see the, the spot weld. They're, they're darn strong. So now that I've got the spot welder, people have asked me, what, 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 are you, what can you use it for? Well, let me give you an example. Here's a, a nice Makita angle grinder that a pal was going to pitch out because somehow or other he had lost the, uh, the, the shield or the guard. And so what I said, okay, fine. Now I got a piece of tin and you can see I bent up some ears <coughs> and then I needed to weld the scatter shield onto the edge of that disc and you can see all I did was to go along and spot weld the edge of that shield onto that piece of uh, metal. This is all the 22 gauge stuff and so I end up with a very nice shield uh, against the sparks and so on. So that among other things, shelving, boxes, anything that uh, you can bend up and it's really convenient sometimes to have a little spot welder like this.